want to find a thing Diamond at the diamond rings Fast car, fancy clothes Bad bitches, open toes I just want to find a thing Diamond at the diamond rings Fast car, fancy clothes Bad bitches, open toes I like the way she walking in them heels Good morning, good morning What's poppin' to MB gang? You already know who it is It's your girl May Beauty coming back to you With another video Yo I just want to say shout out to my god sister because I love you girl. I am tired but yet I'm up this morning to get ready for your photo shoot. Not mine. Your photo shoot. <laughs> I'm so tired y'all. I'm trying to say wait. And my stomach hurts. Like I just woke up feeling like I had a hangover this morning. And I didn't even drink last night. No, none of that. Ugh. But anyways, as you guys can tell from the title of Buzz, today is not only a get ready with me, but it's a story time on how me and my best friend from way back when, no, we are not best friends anymore. And if you would like a story time on why we are not best friends, comment down below and I got you because it's a lot of juicy tea in that. Anyways, yes, this is a story time about how me and my way back, way back when best friend ran off on the plug. <laughs> And while I'm telling you guys this story time, I will be trying, trying to attempt to achieve this look, this 90s throwback side swoop, half up, half down, maybe a little boom at the bottom. I might keep it straight. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm like trying to hurry up and get ready to but stay tuned. So let me stop doing all this talking. You know, hey beauties, hey beauties, and hey gents, and hey handsomes, and what that. If you are new to this channel and this is the first video you guys are seeing, then what are you doing? You are not supposed to keep watching right now. You're supposed to be pausing, right? Liking, subscribing, then coming back to finish watching the video, to comment at the end. You feel me? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm playing some like, you know, copyright free music in the background so I gotta make sure my remote is closed so I ain't playing no ads in the background because yes, you know, when I'm doing my beats and everything, I have to have my, <sighs> my jams. But anyways, let's get into this video. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so this was a day like any old regular day. I'm chilling with my girl and everything. My my matter of fact, my job. I'm from the DMV area. So my ex best friend, she hit me up and I'm like, girl, what's good? She's like, come on, girl, let's go down downtown to the friends, go chill. Whatever. She wanted to go see her bae at the time. So I'm like, alright, whatever, we can. So it was a chill day. I did not feel like getting cute or anything like that. Like I was saying, she hits me up and was just like doing our regular day thing. It was like, let's go down to the spring. So I'm like, okay, cool. We can do that. No problem. Let me get ready. I'll meet you down there in a bit. So then we get downtown to the spring. Everybody's down there. Her boo down there. My stomach is killing me. I do not feel good. Uh, I told you guys, I was not feeling it this morning once I woke up. And I'm still not feeling it. But I'm pushing through for you. Hold on. Back to what I was saying. So we meet up, we get down Silver Spring, and if you know where downtown Silver Spring is, you guys know where the movie theater is. I forgot the name of the movie theater, but right there by the movie theater, the Chick-fil-A, and then the mall, y'all know it's like like that little center. Or whatever, right by City Place Mall, you know, it's like that area where everybody can chill. So we were there and we were sitting down there just chilling. Waiting to see what the next move was. We had to check for leg, got some food, walked around the mall and everything while her boyfriend and his crew was dancing outside, you know, entertaining people. So while that was happening, I was like, all right, let's go do some stuff. I'm bored. So then we get to... So then after we get some food, we come back outside and we see them packing up. And we be like, so what's the next move? And they like, we about to go down gallery and i'm like all right bet that's cool so we get down gallery they still dancing doing everything mind you these were the days that like these were my fat days i'm still fat now but these were the days where we was just real life eating fast food all day every day just because we was outside in public and this is why you like you need to stay in the house when you have money stay in the house because you don't spend no money when you leave but then again no because you might spend money online so i'm lying look Try your hardest not to spend money. <laughs> so, 
we get there or whatever and we're just like so girl yeah girl you want us to make donuts you want to get some ice cream nah not really but since we here yeah let's go all right well i'm just give me some ice cream you know what i might get some ice cream too because i'm going with you but you just say you ain't want my ice cream i know i don't want to spend no money but i want ice cream now so we go to mcdonald's via ice cream they still dancing outside doing everything that they normally do we minding our business so then we hop back outside to go stand around and see what they doing and stand around while everybody watching them perform yada 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 next thing we know some random dude some big dude real random on a bike pull up next to us and it's like hey y'all cute what's up how y'all doing and i'm like be like I'm gonna be okay with that. No, I like my personal space. But it wasn't that with this man. He so after that, we decide to you know what? Let's go stand closer near the boys. I don't know what this man is talking about. I'm not mind my business because he's kind of creeping me out. So then after that, I'm just like, let's go for a walk because they're gonna keep dancing here and, and you know we ain't missing nothing. She's like, all right, bet. So we start walking around the area, walking around gallery, just, you know, sightseeing, walking in the stores, going to different food places. Then we sat for a minute to go charge our phones because, you know, can't be out with dead phones. They'll be. So while we out um, charging our phones, her boot texts her, and he's like, yeah, we about to go by the White House to go dance and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, well, y'all go by yourself because I'm not about to keep traveling everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. We not really doing nothing today. I'm kind of tired. I'd rather go back in the house. They go their ways. We go our ways. We end up staying down gallery for a little bit longer. Because it's just like, we just about to end our night out with just us. And chill. <laughs> I'm going to burn my forehead, y'all. So, after that, while we walking, I see some of my old co-workers from my uh, little security job. And he say, what's up? So, I step up to him, like, by, right by the little sports zone, whatever. So I walk over to him and we start having a conversation. And then I'm looking at him like, um, sir, why do you have a full on, full on platter <laughs> in your hand just out here passing out fruits and cookies? And he was like, because I had something at work that day at the stadium or whatever. And I guess everybody didn't eat everything. So he was passing out to people outside. And I'm like, okay, that's all cool and all, but you know, regular people ain't just about to take whatever is on some platter or whatever whatever like maybe you should go give it to the homeless people out here because they don't really get no food like that anyways and they always you know try and get change out of people and help for food so why not do that for them then the same dude on the same bike found us and rode back up on us and i'm like bruh like we is not gonna catch a break so hey why are we trying to show him this man that neither one of us is interested? Neither one of us wants to talk to him. He's still just standing there pressing the issue. So we, I'm continuing my conversation with my co-worker. One of the dudes that I work with end up trying to talk to her. And she's just like, I'm only entertaining the conversation so this other dude can leave me alone. But I got a man. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever. So then, homeboy, like, while we walking, we stepped off. My friend said he about to go up the street to go pass out the platters. And we stepped off and went back into Panera Bread to finish charging our phones. The other homeboy on the bike, I guess he didn't see us when we stepped off. So he ended up pulling off. And we just like, all right, bet. Now we can go ahead and go back outside and do what we had planned to do in the first place. So we go back outside and we're chilling. We see some more people we know, people we went to school with, and other stuff like that. And we're just having a conversation. And then, y'all already know, the same guy on the bike pulls right back up. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you get it? catch the hint? Like, you really can't get a hint. We're not interested. We want nothing to do with you. Can you please leave us alone? Like... Every time you come back over here, we end up either walking away or just ignoring you altogether. Like, come on, like you pressing it now. So then he's like, Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. All this extra stuff. And saying how he's selling or whatever. And he 
wanted us to hit it for him and let him know how it tastes and everything like that before he starts selling and yada 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 she look at me i look at her she looked back at me we looked at him i bet whatever so then he whip it out whip out about like a I ain't even gonna speak on all them times. But he whips it out and he's just like, get yeah, here, such and such. And so I'm like, you sure? I'm like, so how much? And he's like, it ain't nothing. It's for free. Just let me know how it tastes. Just let me know how it tastes. And we look at him like, okay, we got you. But he kept standing it. So I'm just like, all right, we got you. Have a nice day. He would not leave. He was still standing there. So I'm just like, um, sir, what do you want? He was like, oh, yeah, I'm waiting for y'all uh, to hit it and let me know how it tastes. And, da -da 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 -da. and I'm sitting there just like, okay, I got you. Once we go get our stuff and we settle down. And then I was not about to just stand right there down gallery just doing any and everything. Because you waiting to hear a review on what you got. For all that, you should have just sold it, bruh. Pressing me out. Oh, girl, I'm about to go to the corner store right here. I'm about to go get me something to drink and some other stuff. And she was like, all right, come on, let's go. So we started walking, and then she started whispering. He's still following us. Like, he on the bike riding behind us. I'm like, why? <laughs> Why won't you leave us alone? Just leave me be, please. He would not go nowhere. So she was like, I'm about to book it. I said, don't. So while we walk into the store, it's whatever. He's eventually just going to leave us alone. It's what I thought. <laughs> what I thought. By the way, I didn't even plug my sister in. Y'all want to know where I got this wig from? Y'all can shop my girl Spice, facesandlaces.com. And if you want this wig specifically, this is 28 inches. This is her Blueberry Spice wig, 28 inches. It's a lace front. Um, but back to the story. So then while we, uh, when we step out the corner store, we peeped that he's just like real live was standing at the door waiting for us. So I'm just like, um, okay, whatever. I ain't paying him no mind. Cause the more, if you pay him any mind, it's just like, that's when he really like was really pressing everything or really trying to be in your face, anything like that. So I was like, you know, I'm going to ignore him and act like I don't see him right there. Cause if I act like I don't see him right there, then maybe... He would disappear. <laughs> so then I end up seeing my friend again, my coworker again, and he still had the platter in his hand. And I'm just like, bruh, like at this point, get rid of the platter. Don't nobody want this food. <laughs> Laughing at him and everything. So then um we see that he's still following us. So my friend, he was like, So who's that guy following y'all on that bike? I was like long story short he just gave us some free um he gave us like a free gram or whatever and he wants us to test it out and tell him and let him know how it tastes or whatever whatever but i'm like he's kind of creeping me out on the low because i don't like people follow me i don't care if you want to know something and it's yeah so my friend he just bust out laughing like i'm done with y'all y'all hilarious i was like he gave it to us for the free and asked us to you know be his reviewers that's fine but back up 50 feet please so then i turn around she turns around i don't know how me and her end up thinking the same thing like i knew she said something about it before when we went to the corner store and i was like nah don't we're not but i didn't think she was still thinking about it so when we peeped that he was still standing right there and then he started talking to somebody else because somebody had pulled up and grabbed his attention and was talking to him about something i don't know we look at each other, we look back at him, look back at each other. When I say we booked it, yo, we started running. We just was running for days. I, it felt like we was running for days. We booked it. We ran past the station, past the McDonald's, and then we started running even more faster because dudes started screaming like, eh, eh, and laughing. 
but also trying to get our attention at the same time because they just like, dang, y'all run fast, dang, y'all cute, da, da, da. but we didn't know that. We thinking that they doing that because he probably chasing us or whatever. And mind you, he on bike and we on the feet. So when I say we booked it, we booked it. Then we went to like, we ran to the point where we got to the back side of the station, ran down the steps and everything. Ran through the gate, hopped on the train, and we was good. We ain't never seen that man again. Oh, that's cute. We went on about our days. We lived our best life. That joint was hitting. Had me blazed I'm just like, mm, on that joint. For real, for real. And that's the story today. So long story short, if he ever sees this video or whatever comes across it, hey, sir, here's your review. That joint was bomb. Next time, you know, with your customers, don't be so pushy. Don't be so creepy. And get into my ex-best friend. Congratulations on your baby. I know we ain't cool, but hey, still wish you the best. God bless you and everything. So that's it for my story time, y'all. I try to drag it out. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. Bye. I'll be more... <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about this wig from Faces and Laces by Spice and like I said before this is called the um blueberry spice you can find this under blueberry spice and it's really cute because I like the color um let's talk about cons of this wig before I talk about the pros so the cons about this wig I did not like the fact that with this wig, like me, and I'm sure others do this as well, every time I get my wigs, I like to wash my wigs, especially my human hair wigs, before I put them on my head. Get all that stuff off of it, or manufacturing, and traveling, and all that. Now the casing that the hair came in was beautiful. I just didn't like that when I washed this hair, it was a lot of blue dye that came out of it and it was like blue dye everywhere in my tub my sink and i had to wash it and mind you guys i've had this wig in almost the whole month pretty much the whole month of august and each time that i did wash this wig or get it wet it was a lot of dye coming off or rinsing off now what i will say is that does this hair like most hair when it gets wet curls up not as much of course because i'm pretty sure this is either blonde hair or bleach hair so whatever curls that it did have is more like a wavy texture now another con about this wig is the amount of shedding that it has i refuse to like i expect not refuse I expect that when I buy a wig, I expect that if I'm spending over $500 on a wig, guess this wig was about like five something. That I shouldn't receive as much shedding as I did. I shouldn't receive as much drainage as I did from the dye. Like I feel like all of that should have already been figured out, done, worked out before shipping out to your customer. That's just how I feel. And y'all, I'm sorry. I'm blunt. And I'm giving my honest review. I just want this wig because one, I wanted to do blue hair for my birthday. For my 24th. And I love Spice. I want to support my sisters. And this wig was just darn right cute. So, I got it. So, I can tell that the knots were bleached as well. So, you know how like when you bleach your knots and you over bleach them half the time a lot of the times the hair would come through the lace from the bottom or just fall out and break but it was doing that a lot even when i first got the wig i didn't even have to bleach my 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 lace or anything i just used um these two products my um what's this tannin spray in the color tan glow or shade whatever it's like medium i think this and my Fenty Beauty foundation, all I did was mix that together. And that's how I tint my lace for y'all. So with everything else, I felt like, all right, y'all, y'all know, like, these <laughs> got it together. 
So when I did take this wig off for a little bit to give myself a breather, and I only took it off for about a day and then reapplied it. I realized it was way more, even way more shedding than it was before because this side was completely bald. I had to finesse it and add some baby hairs. I'm going to show you guys that in a few moments once I take the scarf off. But I had to finesse it for you guys or and for myself so that it looked decent because I lied to you not like... To get oh, Out of me just straightening it and doing all that, it's already getting tangled already. Quality, I feel like, could have been way better than what it is right now. This wig did come pre-plucked. Came with a, like, so-so pre-natural hairline and already a middle part. All that I did was pluck it a little bit more to fit my hairline and be more comfortable and more natural on my head. And I plucked a little bit of a side part so that I could be able to wear it on the side or do a swoop or whatever. I think that was all the cons that I really had with it that I mean for me as a person that wear, that loves to wear my wigs and everything like that that would really those two or three cons that I just mentioned would really irritate me because I don't for me to spend the money that I spent on my wig I don't want it to be shedding I don't want dye to be dripping I don't want my lace front going bald either but I love this wig regardless because of the color Two, another pro, this hair is very, 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 very thick. Like, it's thick. It's full. I don't know how many bundles they used for this wig, but I will say if they used three bundles, they put the whole, all three bundles got its worth out of it. If they used four, they got its worth, the worth, their worth out of it. So, I do like that much about the wig. The fact that you can manipulate it any which wig you want is good as well. Hey beauties and handsomes, your girl's coming in with the voiceover. I had to speed this part up because my video is already a little bit too long. So all I'm doing is getting my ponytail together, spraying that with my got to be glue spray to push down the flyaways, brushing that down, using my demo brush. Then I'm going to come in with my wax stick from Galaxy Girl. I'll leave all the information to that with the adhesive solution and skin protectant down in the description box below. Come back in with my demo brush and brush my hair into the ponytail and put it there. Then because I don't want the band to show, I will take a piece of hair from my ponytail and flat iron that out straight. Wrap it around the band so that you won't see it and leave it like that. I'll get back to you guys once I'm flat ironing my side bang. this side was like completely bald and I had to finesse it at least try to this side is pretty much on its verge of doing the same thing and I'm just trying to finesse it it is what it is I don't know if you guys can really see how that looks I'm not sure how it looks on camera but yeah Hey y'all, I told y'all I was coming back or whatever. So all I'm doing now is unraveling my side band, combing it, and flat ironing it for you all before I swoop it to the side. And yes, I know I'm doing a lot of wrapping. That's because I had a lot to talk to you guys about. But then I seen how much I was talking and I cut it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so for my bang, I'm taking my hot comb and straightening that out so that it stays this way in the way that I want it to go. And I'm using my wax stick to make sure that my hair stays in the position that I put it in. Don't move, don't fly away, no none of that. You know how it goes, ladies. Yes. <laughs> it's like, no, let me stop. Oh, what are you Y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Let me show this. I'm just gonna swoop it just like so. Get my brush and like so. Brush it on down like so. Bring it to the side like so. Then I'm gonna what? Spray like so. My free spray. And I'm gonna wet one more time, one more time. Brush it like so. And I got Oh, 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 oh. 
that's that on the hairstyle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you. Come again soon. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's hair tutorial. My first hair tutorial, well no, I think it's my second hair tutorial. I'm actually liking doing these. I'm going to get back into it way more. I had to hurry up and do this, get my slow-mo and everything for you guys. I hope you all enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, share this with your friends, your family, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, everybody. Get me out there. Get me noticed. Um, yeah, let's get this video to about like 50 likes. I know we can do it, y'all. Yeah, if you guys like to see more makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, story times, and other things like that, comment down below. If you guys have any other ideas on what you would like to see me do or try, you can comment down that comment that down below as well. It would not be a video if your main beauty did not get some size. So with that being said, it's your girl made beauty, and we out. Thank you, beauties, and thank you, handsomes, for taking the time out to get cute. And that's what it is. May beauty and pink game stay blessed. Oh, bye. Ooh. I just wake up, you know? I want it.